Welcome back to Sage Engineering. Engineering. <clears throat> We're going to do some more problems. So, Richard and Felder, number 2.6. This one's actually a pretty good problem. You're trying to decide which of the two automobiles to buy. The first is American American made, uh, cost $14,500, mileage of 28 miles per gallon. The second one is European, it costs 21700 mileage of 19 kilometers per liter. Of course, they make us convert. If the cost of gasoline is 125 per gallon. I wish. Where? I want to move there. And, and if, if the, the car's car actually actual delivered the rated mileage estimate, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Estimate how many miles you would have to drive for the lower fuel consumption of the second car to compensate for the higher. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So what this is saying is one of these one of these cars is better than the other. So let's try to determine how many miles we'll have to drive to reach that limit. So first things for, first, of course, they want to compare two different countries. Um, come on, Dr. Felder. Let's, I, I like the fact that it's $125 per gallon. Let's just keep it in American units, even though I like SI more. By the way, highly, 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 highly recommend you try to do this problem by yourself first. This is a relatively tricky problem and it really helps if you try to do it by yourself first. So click this time to check the answer, and then if not, come back to this time. I'm gonna try it out right now. So first things first, we're gonna first, first things first, first on the realist, we're gonna try to convert 19 kilometers per liter into miles per gallon. So we got this lovely little conversion. Uh, kilometers is gonna be length. So uh, we need to first convert this to meters, which is gonna be 1,000 kilometers. Sorry, one kilometer is 1,000 meters, and volume so uh a thousand liters is what do we want we want gallons a thousand liters is 264 a thousand liters is 264 gallons so a thousand liters this is on the bottom so now let's do the top a thousand liters cancel cancel we have meters and liters cancel so we have meters so we gotta i almost forgot to convert to from meals to, meters to miles Try saying that three times fast. So one meter is 0 0.006614 miles. So so one meter is 0 0.1200614. Let's cancel out that guy. Oopsies. Let's cancel out my meters and meters. And now we have miles per. I crossed out gallons for no reason. <laughs> Careful with that. So miles per gallon. So let's do this calculation. So 19 times 1,000 times 1,000 times 0 0.000. 6214 divided by 264.1. 44.7. This is the mileage of the European car. Okay, so now that we have this conversion, we need a game plan. They want us to identify how many miles it would take for one car to be more expensive than the other. So let's use some algebra. So I'm going to make a function. I'm going to make a function of price as a function of miles. So we know that initially the American car is 14,500. So this is 14. European car is going to be initially more 21,700, but perhaps the mileage. So initially this is going to be 21. Let's just move this guy. And this guy is going to be 21,700. So this is for European and then this will be for American. So if we get two equations of a line, we can set them equal to each other and identify at what mileage those are the same. Right on the money. So first we have to get the equation of the American line, and then we have to get the equation of the European line. Set those two equal to each other. So the way we do that is good old y equals mx plus b. So <clears throat> for the, let's start, let's just start with the American line. We want y, which is in dollars, um, to be mx, which is in miles, plus b, which of course is in dollars. So miles, so our M has to be in dollars per mile. Why? Because in order to obtain dollars for the equation to be mathematically correct, we need to cancel out miles and input dollars. So to solve for M, um, American, we convert $1.25 um, $1 per gallon, and the mileage is 28 miles per gallon. And looky, looky, these guys cancel out. We're left with these dollars per mile. And now, so these miles cancel out, and we're with, with, and we're left with dollars and dollars. So therefore, our overall equation is going to be 
y American is going to be $1.25 divided by 28. 125 divided by 28, 0 0.044, 0 0.044x plus b, which our b is 1400, 14,500. Did that make sense? If not, let's try it again. Now let's do the European model. So the European uh, car, it's going to be another function. So we need this slope. So this slope is going to be again. 125 per gallon price of gas but this time the mileage is going to be we solve for it 44.7 miles per gallon and of course gallons gallons so therefore our equation now is the y of the european one so what is this slope by the way 125 divided by 44.7 0.0279 times x plus 21700 which makes sense right because in the European one, this orange one, the initial cost was higher, but the slope is lower. See how it's 0 0.02? And this initial cost is lower, but the slope is higher. So at some point, we need to identify what mileage x. So x is in miles. So now all we got to do is simply set these two guys equal to each other and solve. American equal to European. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to subtract, recommend, highly, highly recommend you do this by yourselves, guys. Everyone does algebra differently. This is times x. So x is simply going to be 21, 7, minus 1450, 14,500, all over. It's just some mathematic gymnastics. Everyone's, we just got to do this sometimes in engineering, you know. So 21, the answer is 447,000 miles. That's insane. My answer is a little bit off because um because I didn't carry that conversion, but it's 447,000 miles. So what that means is you're going to have to drive your car, American car, no, that means you're going to have to drive your European car 447,000 miles before you start to save any money, which means that it's probably a better option to get a um the American car because I mean like how often how much do you drive how often do you drive miles to drive a car before before it dies or something two hundred thousand miles so you're not you're probably not even gonna get that far so your best bet is to get the um, American car um, oh before I forget I almost forgot and so that was one way since I'm nice I'm gonna show you the MATLAB way. If you've never used MATLAB, um, don't be scared. I'll probably do some more videos on MATLAB. But let's see. Let's pull this up. If it decides to load, so I have this engineering file. If you don't understand this, just skip this. I'll make another tutorial on MATLAB. But this is if you're already using MATLAB. What I'm going to do is just simply show you the calculations that we just did. So I like to start with clearing everything just in case some previous variables. And I'm going to make a vector for the miles. So this is going to be miles and start it from one mile to one million one times 10 to the sixth so one million miles that's just simply making a vector a vector for four miles miles and now we need a function to a function that takes in this variable which we're going to use um so the cost of the american car is going to be what point zero Point zero four four point times x. We need point um, because it's a vector. Point times our slope m x plus b. Um, <clears throat> our x is miles plus b is fourteen thousand five hundred. All I'm doing is just making two functions. And now the cost of the European, I can call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it C E U. And now similarly, y equals m x plus b. Our m is 0 0.029, 0 0.0279, 79. Point times x because again it's a vector. We need to multiply it by a vector. Plus twenty one thousand seven hundred. So all I'm doing is making a line from European and a line for American, and then I'm going to plot those two together. So I'm going to do plot miles is x and c American is y, and I'm going to plot miles again and c now European. And if I run this, 
see what happens. And lo and behold, we got the, the, the graph that we kind of uh, attempted to design. So we're, our goal is to solve for this guy. And we can kind of estimate that it is around 450,000, but we can get this exact number. Now we can use a MATLAB built-in function solve to solve for the actual value of the miles. In order to do that, we write equation and we set this equation. And we need some symbolic variables, so I'm going to do sims miles so now it's going to treat miles as a symbol and set that equal to the next equation and now we're going to get some answer let's just call it answer is going to be the matlab salt function of the equation for miles and we're going to convert this to a double because it's going to be a weird notation and we're just going to do double of answer and if we run this this should be our answer and there we go, 4.472 times 10 to the 5, that's 447,000, which does in fact confirm our answer. If you've never got a taste of MATLAB, stick around because I'm going to do some videos that are not mind-numbing, like every video on YouTube is insanely boring for MATLAB right now. We're going to change that, alright? Um, as usual, feel free to ask me any questions. If you have a science YouTube channel, I'd love to give you a shout out. You can PM, you can PM me via Instagram or Facebook at Sanjanieri. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and your dog.